Let's look at how to use Liquify in Affinity Photo, which allows you to perform mesh-based distortion operations on your imagery. We can liquefy destructively and non-destructively, so I will show you both methods. Here's the destructive approach. First, let's move across to the Layers panel and select the pixel layer we want to liquefy. That's the image, which is the background pixel layer in this document. Now I can go to the top left and enter the liquify persona, which is an entire workspace dedicated to liquify operations. So notice my tools on the left have changed and so have my panels on the right. And within the toolbar on the left, we have a variety of tools here, including the push forward tool, the push left tool, twirl tool, pinch tool, punch tool, and turbulence tool. Now we start with the push forward tool, so I can just zoom in, reduce my brush size using the left square bracket key, and then just click drag to start pushing pixels around. I can hold space and click drag just to pan around my image, and perhaps I'll just liquefy the bottom area here. Now, if I don't like the result, that's not a problem because we also have an undo history over here. And you can either click to step back to a previous operation, or you can click drag on the position slider to move through each liquify operation. On the right hand studio, we also have the mesh panel at the top. So we can change the size of the mesh by altering the divisions value up here. And we can also change the color and opacity. So I can bring the opacity all the way up and click here to change the color. Let's choose a nice intense red and then just click anywhere to hide the color wheel. We can even save and load meshes to reuse particular distortions for other imagery as well. And if you find the mesh grid distracting, you can just uncheck show mesh to hide it. So what I might do now is select the twirl tool and just move up here. If I just click drag, you can see I'm starting to twirl some of the pixel content here, but I might find the default settings too slow. So on the brush panel, I can change the speed value. Let's try bringing this all the way to 100. And also we can alter the strength by changing the opacity slider as well. If I try now, it might be too fast and too strong. But if we look at the hint line located at the bottom left of the interface, it will tell us which keyboard modifiers we can use with this particular tool. For example, I can use shift whilst click dragging to slow down the twirl operation. On Mac, I can hold Option, which would be Alt on Windows, to twirl anti-clockwise instead. And of course, I can also hold Shift and Option together to twirl anti-clockwise, but also slow the operation down. Once we're happy with the result, we can click Apply, and we've now moved back to the main photo persona where we can carry on editing our image. Now that's the destructive approach, but what if we wanted to liquefy non-destructively, especially if we already have a busy layer stack, like with this document here? For that, we can go to Layer, New Live Filter Layer, Distort, and Liquify. But for this particular scenario, we need to make two small adjustments. The first is that we might want to perform the liquefy operation at the top of the layer stack. So we need to select the layer that currently sits at the top. This just ensures that the liquefy operation is performed above all of our other work that we've done to this image. The second adjustment is that because we're adding a live filter layer, that will child layer into our selected layer by default. We don't want that since it would child layer into this brightness and contrast adjustment here and therefore have no effect on anything else. 
To change this behavior, we just need to go to the Assistant Options up here, and then change the Adding Filter Layer to Selection option to Add Filter as New Layer rather than Child Layer. Now, when we add the Liquify Filter as a Live Filter Layer, we're taken into the Liquify Persona again. So let's just uncheck Show Mesh, and we can make a small change here to the eyes. So I will use the Pinch tool, decrease my brush size, increase the speed perhaps, and then just increase the size of the eyes slightly, like so. Once we've made the changes, we can click Done. The difference here is that our changes are now non-destructive, so they haven't been applied to a particular pixel layer. The changes are simply being applied through this live Liquify filter layer. And I can actually hide this, and we can see the before and the after. The advantage here is that if we want to alter the Liquify distortion at any point, we can just double click the Liquify layer to enter the Liquify persona, and we can make additional changes. Like, for example, I might select the Punch tool, increase the speed slightly, increase the brush size, and just shrink the nose slightly. And like before, once I'm happy with the changes, I can just click Done and move back to the photo persona. So there we go, a quick rundown on using Liquify in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching.